Hey, what's going on? Tony here. Hope all is well. Um, looks like I set this stream up and the phone has to be this way. So my bad on that. Hopefully we can do some rotations. Maybe not. This is going to suck. I might have to restart the, the uh, stream unless I do something like this. Um, let me know if you guys can actually see, see my video. Oh man, this is not gonna work. This is not gonna work. Um, if I rotate it, it doesn't look good. What's up guys? No, rotate it no good. <sighs> Shit. What should I do here? Unless I go like this. Here, there we go. Here we go. Looks like we could do something here. All right. Can you guys see this? Does it look okay? Give me some quick feedback. This is so ghetto. Ghetto. <laughs> can you guys see this? Uh, type in the chat really quickly. Let me know if you guys can see this. Hopefully, sync out. What does that mean, sync out? This is all I can do here. I can go like that. How's that? Okay, so we had a Adam X21 customer. Where is the gun? Who had a problem with his uh, spray gun. He said it wasn't spraying good. And um, I checked it out, did an inspection. And I found out that he actually dropped his spray gun. And you can see that the air cap was dented. If we look here, all right, dented in and it's actually distorted. It's pushed in on this corner here. What's going on? And you can see the uh, scuff marks and the dent right there. Right. And it messed it up. Um, and he's complaining like, hey, this thing's not spraying correctly. Well, it's not spraying correctly because you dropped the gun on the air cap and you just messed it up. You dented the whole thing. You know, guns are pretty fragile. Uh, they're precision made pieces. So I said, you know, I'll just replace it out with another spare that I have. So we're giving him a brand new one, a brand new air cap, and I'm going to mail it back to him. So I just tested it out. It works perfectly now. Um, we're just gonna clean it quickly. As you can see, it's kind of overspray on it. You know, I tested it with some silver base coat. Um, so I took the tip off, right? And then all you do is take the back out, you squeeze the trigger and it's gonna push the needle out. And you can pull the needle out like this, okay? Now we're just gonna go ahead and just rinse it. And here's what I like to do. I like to get a gallon plastic container like this. All right, this is if you don't have those fancy gun cleaners, all right? I don't have one. Um, frankly, I don't need one. This is fine for me. So here's what I do. I just cut it open this way. Um, this is an old antifreeze one gallon container. Wash it out really good. And then this could be your wash bucket, okay? You could use this. Um, I like it because it's a, it gives you a big wide open space to clean your gun. All right, so I got some lacquer thinner in here. Uh, you should wear gloves. Where are my gloves at? You should wear gloves because, you know, this stuff can really eat up your hands and just give you problems that, you know, Back in the day, I really never wore gloves, but it's a good idea to 
wear gloves. And make sure you got the heavy duty solvent resistant type of gloves, right? And uh, now all I'm gonna do is get my brush here, right? Oh, you wanna make sure you have a rag as well. So you can do some wiping and whatnot. So I'm just gonna brush it down here. Okay, because we got overspray on the body a little bit. Of course, we're gonna clean inside as well. I'm just gonna hit the outside quick. Hit my trigger. So how's everybody doing? How's your Saturday, Sunday? It's already Sunday. Hope all is well. And you guys get a chance to check out the forum. You guys introducing yourselves in the forum. Uh, we just started a brand new Learn Auto Body Forum at thepub.learnautobodyandpaint.com. Hello, hello. I see ya. Um, yeah, so if you haven't checked out the forum, check out the forum. It's going to be a great place to hang out. Uh, make friends, learn, and all that other cool stuff. I normally don't do this, but uh, I figured, you know, the dude sent me the spray gun to have it looked at. I should at least take a look at it for him and address the issue. We hardly get any issues with these gun at all, with these guns. It's just that he dropped the spray gun and that's why it's it's uh, spraying like that. He didn't tell me he dropped it. He just said it's spraying incorrectly. Something's wrong with the gun. And, um, you know. Okay, now we're gonna use this tool here. Get inside. A lot of gunk can, can end up in here, you know? And you also want to make sure you got your air chuck on so you could blow it out. Okay, make sure you have your air compressor hooked up. It helps sometimes if you have a little squeeze bottle but this thing isn't dirty. Just wanna lightly clean it up before I give it back to him. Okay, I'm just gonna blow this out really quickly. With the air gun. One second. Sweet, nice and clean. I'm using lacquer thinner, guys. Basic lacquer thinner okay that's what you use this is a chrome plated body so the lacquer thinner is not going to hurt it um, now we're just going to go ahead and hit the cap super important guys you clean your guns you take care of your spray guns they will last you a long time i would say 80 percent of gun failure is by not cleaning your spray guns it gets all caked up inside and over time they just they just stop spraying correctly you know so you got to make sure to take care of your spray guns every time you paint just give it a good wash you know take 20 minutes 15 minutes and just clean out your spray gun really good 
you know, get that clear coat out. Um, I didn't spray clear with this, I just sprayed a little bit of base. So we have some silver base stuck on here. Clean your guns, they'll last you a long, long time. Okay, and the other thing is don't drop your spray guns, especially on the head, on the air cap. Um, something that you could do, which is worse, is drop your spray gun when you have your tip and everything set up like this. You know, if you drop, then you're screwed. Then you gotta buy a whole new tip kit assembly because you probably most likely damage your needle. It's good to have different size brushes laying around. I get these cheap ones from Home Depot, you know, for the outside of the body, uh, for inside of the air cap like this. Uh, and the best times to clean your spray guns are right after you paint, you know, within, within a few hours after you paint. This way, you, you know, you get everything out while it's fresh and not caked up for weeks or months, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm also gonna blow this out with the air gun, but I'll do that later. What's up guys? How is your Sunday? How's your Sunday going? Now for the tip. It's clean, but we'll just get in here anyway, lightly. Run some fluid through it. So what are you guys up to this weekend? Smash the like button, guys. If you're on here, smash the like button. Smash it. <laughs> All right, pretty much it. So what we're gonna do now is put it back together. So the first thing I like to do is put on our tip. Okay. You don't want to over tighten it. You just give it a good snug. It's a 10 millimeter here. That's all you need to do. Okay, then what I do next is put in the tip. Very gently. You're gonna see it poke out. All right, and then we put our spring in, cap. And how I measure this is basically full throttle, clo close the trigger all the way down, and then you just tighten it until she just grabs. Pretty much set, okay? Cap, a couple of bristles here, brush bristles stuck in there.
And this is the good cap. Pretty much it. Now after that, you wanna put your cup on. Right, give it a quick snug. You don't have to overdo it and you're, you're ready for your spraying. I would actually put some thinner in here now and actually spray it, okay? I would hook the air up, spray it, and have a wide open fan, narrow fan, wide open fan, narrow fan, just to you know clean that up in there, and then you're pretty much good to go. So that's how uh, quick it is to clean up your spray gun. You can see it's nice and chromey and shiny now. Had a little bit of overspray on the body, uh, but now it looks good. I could even clean it up a little bit more if I want like that. Put a little bit of thinner on my rag here. Okay, you keep your guns clean like this. Uh, they will last you a long time. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the quick little video. Um, a lot of cool things coming up soon. Looks great. Again, I would hook uh, my air to it now. All right, and I would hook my air up, spray it, spray some fluid out, and then you could set it aside until you're ready for painting. Can you show the setting for wide open? So uh, the setting for wide open fluid flow is basically, I like to back it off all the way, right? Squeeze your trigger. Oh, I got, I got fluid, hold on guys. And when you're letting fluid out, be sure to squeeze the trigger. So you get the trapped in fluid in here actually comes out, okay? You get more fluid coming out if you do that. Okay, so wide open fluid flow settings. Basically, okay, you could have your fluid flow all the way backed out, your needle, right? And then you're gonna squeeze the trigger and tighten it until you feel your trigger starting to move forward. Like if you notice my trigger, you can see how it's, as I tighten, it's less and less, right? See, this is, so you wanna go wide open is just basically all the way and then tighten it until it starts to touch. And then you could go like an eighth or a quarter, an eighth or a quarter in. So that's wide open fluid flow right there. Okay, and I'm not gonna be able to show you the fan unless I put fluid in it, hook up my air, and then I'll be showing you my fan, but this is, Fan's pretty simple, okay? In for narrow, backed up for, for wide. Pretty simple. So that's pretty much it. All right. Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Sorry the video was vertical instead of horizontal. Um, let me see if I can get this out of here. I didn't mean for the video to be vertical like this. I wanted it to be horizontal, but it's too late because once you start the live stream, you can't flip it. So that's pretty much it. This is set to go. I'm going to send this back to the customer now. Um, it is perfectly fine. Again, do not drop your spray gun because if you do, you're going to mess up your fan pattern your spray pattern is going to be messed up. All right. Um, other than that, all is good. We got some pretty cool decals on the Lambo. If you want to, you guys want to see that. I was driving this around the other day and it was getting a ton of looks pretty crazy. There we go. Cool car, super cool car. Uh, wash the truck, 
truck's nice and clean as well. Um, anyway, hope all is well. Guys, check out the forum. How many of you guys on here have seen the brand new forum that we launched literally 10 days ago? So if you haven't checked out the forum, uh, the URL is pub, like P-U-B, right? Like a pub where you go and get drinks, pub, dot learn auto body and paint.com it's a free forum uh, we already have a bunch of users signed up talking and chatting and posting pictures and all of that um, i think you're going to get a lot of info there check it out pub dot learn auto body and paint.com sign up it's a free account for the forum um, the only thing is you can't sign up with a hotmail or aol account at the time because we're having issues uh, with that particular mail server so use something uh, other than a Hotmail or AOL account. Yahoo works. I've heard some people say they had an issue with Yahoo, but most of the people are saying Yahoo works. So check your spam folder for the confirmation email. We're also going to be adding Facebook, Instagram, Google sign up formats. So you could just sign up with that instead of an email. You could just click on Facebook and sign up uh, instantly. What's up, Nelson? I see you. I see you. So uh, other than that, it's been a beautiful day. I've been getting a little warmer. It's about 60 today, but very windy. My daughter's in here doing some homework. <laughs> you doing homework or are you reading? I just finished Okay. Cool. And, uh... That's that. We're going to be buffing this sucker out, finishing it up soon, and selling it. I'm going to flip it. I'm selling the Miata. <clears throat> we're selling a lot of things. We're going to be selling. We're going to be liquidating. We're going to be doing a big-ass sale. <laughs> selling everything within the next few months. Um, yeah, got a lot of things planned. And uh, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be very exciting. So, um, I guess we'll do, be doing a live stream in the next couple of days uh, on the evenings. So, stay tuned for that. We'll be doing a live Q&A live stream. And um, we got a lot of other things coming. Yeah, moving to Hawaii. <laughs> moving back to Hawaii within the next 12 to 18 months, depending on how quickly we could nail and land the property. A good deal, I'm looking for a good deal. Just like the cars and everything else. Awesome, Nelson. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, uh, so yeah. Yeah, guys. A lot of cool things. A lot of cool things going on. A lot of cool things. What's a dog doing? So, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it, man. What am I going to do now? I am going to get back to work. Well, I just, I wanted to get this guy's gun cleaned up and shipped out. So I just wanted to finish that up. And I said, hey, let me make a video for you guys uh, and do that. So I actually got to get back on the mini truck videos. That thing I don't want to sell. That thing I want to bring back with me. That's a cool little truck. I love that little truck. And it's looking so good now that it's painted. It really does look awesome. So what's up guys? You guys are quiet. You guys are quiet today. A lot of quiet people on here. Mad Max, what's up Mad Max? I see you. Um, what's a good mini spray gun? Uh, it depends on your budget. You know, you know, if you want to go with the cheap ones, you can. If you want to go high end, I would say save some money and get an out of mini x16 let me show you what they look like awesome spray gun by the way i mean i am totally in love with these guns i just am they're great let me see if i could find it here it is so here is the brand new version of the atom mini x16 it is a powder coated dark finish high volume low pressure with the black and gold knobs 
Uh, and this is the one that you will be getting if you order it. Great little spray gun. And what I like about this, it's not like the other minis out there where the handle is small. It actually has a handle um, that fits an adult size hand. You know, it feels good. And the trigger is also big, so you can put two fingers on it as well. Um, I don't know where my other mini is. Where is my other mini spray gun? Where is my other mini? I can show you an example. It's probably in my office. It's in my office. I got all these cups. Uh... Yeah, well, these little guys here, you could get a 1.4 tip on it and put the larger cup on it and it could be like a, a full-size spray gun but mini. You can literally put a 1.4 on this sucker uh, with a larger cup. That cup will actually fit on it right there. That is a 300 milliliter, about 10 ounce. Not too bad, All right? That'll fit on it like that and uh, you get a little bit more spraying power more volume um yes uh the trick that i tell everybody to do is if you're going to be spraying out of a 1.0 1.2 1.4 1 tip and you want to spray on thick 2k primers you can reduce it down 15 percent and just give it extra coats that'll do the job all right if you're if you just want to spray straight 2k primer which is a little thick you'll need to use a 1.8 to a 2.0 uh, tip size, but a 1.8 is good enough, all right? A 1.8 will do the job. Hey, Tony, I got the Atom X21. Can I spray base and clear with the 1.3 tip? Absolutely, you can. Absolutely, you can. 1.3 and 1.4 is the standard all-around size you want to use for base coat clear coat okay some people say 1.3 is better for clear coat i have used both um hardly any difference i like to use i like to go 1.4 all the way around that's my preference some people like to go 1.3 all the way around some people like to use 1.4 for base 1.3 for clears it's it's you know just play around with it and see what you like but for me 1.4 all around gets me fantastic results. All right, so just wanted to give you guys that tip there. What about epoxy primer Evercoat? 1.8 is fine. Um, if it seems like it's spraying a little dry and coming out, that means it's a little thick. I would just add a little bit 5% reducer. Hey, there's nothing wrong in reducing your primers. Your, your sealer primer, filler primer, 5-10% uh, to get it to flow better. That's just, that's just a beast. This is what you do. You know, as a painter, you're going to have to compromise and add a little bit more. Sometimes the mixtures aren't 100% to what they say on the can. You, know, you can't always get what they say on the can because when you, it depends on the spray gun and what gun are they testing it with. You know? So if it seems like it's spraying dry, right, it's too thick because it's not, you don't have the atomization, it's not liquid, it's not thin enough. Can you use thinner on 2K primer? You can, you can. Um, I don't recommend it. I, I recommend using a reducer. I recommend using a reducer, you know, a base coat reducer. But I have used lacquer thinner, no problems. My dad has used lacquer, that's where I kind of got it from because one day we were painting in the booth we were out, we use lacquer thinner, it works. Okay, it works. You can use lacquer thinner if you have no options and you wanna just uh, reduce it. So I have to buy the 1.8 for my X21. Yes, if you want to, yes. Um, it's recommended because you could just spray straight thick 2K primer and not have to worry about reducing it so much. You'll just get that thick spray from the 1.8. You know what I mean? So a lot of people, when they buy the spray guns, they get, they buy them with the 1.3 or 1.4 tip size, and then they add on the 1.8 uh, for 2K primers. That's what's, you know, that's how it's done. So it's, I mean, they're cheap. They're only like 50 bucks or so. 
not a bad deal compared, you know, if you look at SADA, you're looking at a tip kit, they're charging close to 200 bucks. So it's, it's a very inexpensive upgrade to have both tips for your spray gun if you want to. Again, there's a way around it by just reducing your primers and giving it more cover. You're just gonna have to go around the car, you know, maybe two more times or not even the car. If you're just doing, if you're just body working a section you're just gonna have to base it a couple, I mean, not base it, primer it a couple more times to get that fill. Tony, I have a 50 liter, two horsepower air. I missed that question. If you wanna retype it in there, uh, they disappear within three seconds on my, on my phone here. How do you like the decal on this thing? How do you like my license plate? You like the license plate? You know what it says? So my birthday, my birth date is the 21st, right? And then my name is Tony, so it's Tony backwards. T-O-N-Y, but it looks like why not? It looks like 21, why not? But it's actually my name and my birth date. <laughs> and then uh, I actually just did this today. It looks good. I can't give you a, a further back shot because the truck is in the way. And because I love Adam so much. Cool. All right, guys. Well, I hope everyone's having a great Sunday. Keep cranking, keep working, keep focusing on your dreams, keep painting, keep getting those fingernails dirty. Um, and I will do the same. So I'll be in touch uh, with a live stream very, very soon. And getting tiger stripe when I spray my clear coat. Why is this happening? Two horsepower air compressor. Um, I paid a hundred grand for the Lambo. I could, it's it's valued at about a hundred and twenty-five to one twenty-eight. Oh shit! But uh, so the, as far as the tiger stripes, before I lose you on that, um, as far as the tiger stripes. Um, I would say you're not correctly going, doing your 50, 50 overlay. That's the only way. And the only way you're going to get tiger stripes on clear is if you're spraying dry or unless you have pearl or flake in it. So I don't know how you're getting tiger. Usually tiger stripes happens in paint, um, in metallic paints. Um, yeah, we also got the Zula. The Zula decal on here as well. You guys want awesome spray guns? Go to Zula.com. We carry all the Atom X spray guns, which are freaking fantastic. I love them. Um, there is the Lambo. It's a beast. It's a beast. It sure is a looker on the road. Yeah, so we're going to sell the Lambo. I'm, I'm going to use it. Uh, for a couple of months, I got a good deal on it. I'm going to use it. We actually got a girl coming next week for a photo shoot. Going to have a nice, good-looking girl model around the car. And um, maybe I'll take her for a ride and take one of those videos where you got the, the girl expression, you know, like have the camera in front of her and just like step on the gas. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll do one of those. Who knows? I really don't care. I'm free. You need a guy model. I like the color. I'll trade you my 98 SC300 for it. It was a 2K and the compressor is weak. I set my PSI on the gun to 40. Stripes are stressing me out. Damn. 40 PSI is a little too high. I think you're too much air pressure, buddy. 
I don't know why. Uh, what kind of gun are you using? I mean, even with a low volume, low pressure, high volume, low pressure, you shouldn't be spraying at 40 pounds, man. That's crazy. You may have to, you may have problems with your gun flow control. Your gun flow control is basically, let me show you. So, assuming your spray gun is working correctly, okay, that could be another issue, right? When you're spraying, you want to make sure you're about five to seven inches away from your panel, okay? And depending on how much clear is coming out, well, if you got wide open setting and if you got if you're spraying at about 27, 28 PSI clear coat, right? You want to be spraying at about this speed. I'm going to I'm going to just do it with you, okay? Okay? Too fast, you're not going to get enough clear on the panel. So you got to have the perfect flow and distance right, to give yourself a good glossy. And a, and a good way to determine that is by watching the clear coat get glossy on the panel as you spray, right? If you see that it's dry, go back. Go back and hit it again. Remember, you don't want to be doing that every pass. Just if you notice that a pass that you, you do is a little dry, reverse, hit it again, and then make sure you get closer to the panel, or go slower to make sure you get that glossy look, right? And here's another thing. When spraying candies, very, very tricky in advanced painting, um, you don't go panel by panel, okay? You're not going to be doing panel by panel. You're going to be doing the whole length of the car as best as you can, right? The mirrors are coming off because you don't want to have lines okay stripes of candy thicker in certain areas you don't want that all right so i hope that helps guys i am out i got to get some other work done and um i'll talk to you later i'll be on a live stream in the next couple days uh we'll do live auto body q a and um I hope to see you guys on. Again, check out pub.learnautobodyandpaint.com for the free forum. 25 to 30 PSI for clear. Uh, if you're using a high volume, low pressure spray gun, I would say 26 to 28 PSI is good uh, for a clear coat. All right? That's, that's the general ballpark. 30 is too high. 30 is a little high. 29, you're, you're, on, the, you're on the edge of 29. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Talk to you soon. Bye.